my name's Laura. I'm 36. I'm a wife. I'm a mum and I currently work as a police officer for Thames Valley Police and I have breast cancer. I, I found my lump just playing one Sunday morning with Orla. We were messing around and she leant on me and I thought, ow, what is that? And because I breastfed her for a year, I thought maybe my, my breast was still sensitive. I thought maybe it was a duct and I felt this lump like a sort of pee and I got my husband to check it to double check it because I just thought that where has that come from I I you know surely I'd know if I had a lump there and I rang my doctor the next day and I had an appointment within days and I'm suddenly in the Churchill Hospital two weeks later having a, a biopsy a mammogram an ultrasound I was told it was a stage one ductal carcinoma, um, which was invasive, but contained. Um, he, the, my consultant told me it was a grade three cancer and described it as being like in the fast lane of the motorway. That's how fast it was growing. And from there, it's just been a whirlwind. It's been a bit of a domino effect, it's been a diagnosis, surgery. We then had urgent IVF to give us some hope for the future of being able to have another child. And obviously the chemotherapy combined with the radiotherapy and then hormone therapy will hopefully be enough to, to see this off. I'm, I'm about to find out from the genetic team whether I've got the mutated BRCA gene. We know that my mum didn't have it. My mum and I have a very different cancer. But um, obviously there's that worry that I am carrying uh, the mutated gene and I may pass it on to my daughter. The, the fact that any of this has had an impact on her already is enough for me. Um, you know, as a mum, I just want her to be a two-year-old, happy, normal, naughty, <laughs> cheeky. Um, and she is, and she's very robust with all of this. Um, she's got some amazing people around her, we all have, but the, the impact it has on me must have an impact on her. My mum had breast cancer. Um, I was 11 when she was diagnosed, so I've kind of grown up with cancer, knowing all about cancer and, and its different treatments. Um, hers was a, a different cancer to mine, and it was, um, it was secondary, and hers was more advanced. Um, but she lived with it for 21 years. Um, however, um, it sadly did spread, and, and she died um, in 2015. Um, and it still, you know, I, I need her now. <laughs> I could really do with her being here, but I'm also glad that she, she's not here to know that I'm now dealing with breast cancer myself. I just hope that going forward, the research, the trials, the, the fundraising, the, everything that all these charities, amazing charities do, I hope that there is some hope for the future. If I could say one thing or get one message across to people, it would just simply be get checked out if you're not sure, if you found something, you're feeling unwell and it continues. Just don't ever be, just don't ever hesitate. I, I can't stress enough how important it is. I got checked within two weeks of finding my lump and I got diagnosed within another week. I mean, three weeks from lump to diagnosis is just crazy, but people, that wouldn't have got checked. If I, if I hadn't got checked, I could be looking at a different stage cancer. I could be looking at secondary cancer. I feel lucky in a, in a way that I've got primary cancer. It's contained and it's, it's treatable, I hope. I just want people to know the importance of, of being aware of your body, being aware of other people's bodies. Just get checked. Um, I don't want anyone to live this life. Um, I can put a positive spin on it, but actually it's horrific. I have never had um, such, a, a, such a challenge in my life. I hope there's a cure for cancer. Um, that sounds very generic. I just, I just, I hope there is hope for the future. For Orla, I hope for um, my niece, I hope for all of these girls that, that are in my life that they don't have to have any experience of cancer.